Good morning. It is the morning of the 23rd. I am walking down to the barn to let the horses out to pasture. Let them get on pasture for a couple hours before the bugs get bad. And to check on Willow to see if she had her baby or not. So I'll get down to the barn and we'll see if there's a baby. Hey guys, here we go. let's go in the barn. Good morning everybody. Happy little goats. Oh. Guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that baby. Oh, good mama. Good mama. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to get everything checked out and make sure he's okay. Or she. Oh, it's a little filly. Pretty sure it's a filly. From what I can tell from here. But I'm going to set the camera down for a minute. Make sure she's okay. Nice size colt. Make sure mom's okay. And then I'll come right back to you guys in a second. Okay guys, so we got the stall all cleaned up. And we checked mom out. We checked baby out. Everybody's happy. We <laughs> she's running around sit now and we watched her eat. We watched her go poop for the first time. <laughs> and it is a filly. <laughs> she does not have a name yet. She is Danny's grandpa's horse, so he'll be naming her. So we'll let you guys know what her name's gonna be. Isn't she so cute? Look at her, she's getting all rambunctious. Willow's been a great mom. She had no problems delivering. Look at that face. She's so cute. <laughs> so she's got a belly full. So she, I came out at midnight. Christy, what time did you come out? I came out at 3. Christy came out at 3, so and I came out here at 6.30. So she had her between 3 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. on the 23rd. Yeah. And it was fast. On June 23rd. So, because when I came out, out, she was standing and dry, so. When I came out at 3, she was standing and calm and. Yeah. She was. No like, signs of labor, no signs so. Of labor. I think we might be pooping again. Good girl. Everybody wants a camera in their face when they're pooping. Yeah. <laughs> this is a big deal. Pooping for the second time ever in your life. You On camera. Good job. Strong work, baby girl. So, Willow's a great mom. She had absolutely no problems with her delivery. She's happily munching away. Her milk came in great. Her afterbirth looked great, nice and healthy. Everything is good. Mm 
And those highlights with the flashing. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to see. But she's got two white socks in the back. Stockings. 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 Yeah, they're st full stockings, actually. Matching stockings in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Matching stockings in the back. Four full white feet. Nice little blaze. She's pretty flashy. But she's an Appaloosa, so she will change. She'll probably roam right out. Her daddy was a roam. And her daddy looked like that only with a bay. And yeah. She right out. So, Willow, she was a solid chestnut when we got her. Yeah. So she could end up keeping her color, but it's pretty doubtful. She'll probably roam right out, but you never know. She's got a couple spots. She's probably a few spot leopard. Yeah. <clears throat> She goes munching away. I'm eating again, hey Willow. All right, well, we're gonna let them hang out and get out of their hair. But pretty exciting stuff. And we'll film a little bit more later on today. Okay, how old are your chickies? My chickies are about six days old now. They hatched around the 18th or 19th, over the 18th or 19th. See how mama's all puffed up? That's a sign that she's still broody, which is good because she wants to raise chicks. And we've got seven of them. And these guys are Icelandic chickens. And they're a threatened breed. Well, you can't even technically call them a breed. They're a land race. Excuse me. People are very serious about that. So today, we're letting them loose for the first time to go and meet all of their aunties and uncles, or aunties and the dad. But if you come in closer, you can see their little wings are already starting to get feathers. And the cool thing about Icelandics, there's no breed standard. They can look like anything. Peacocks. They can't look like peacocks. No, the rooster's chasing the peahen. <laughs> They don't look like peacocks. They don't look like peacocks, but the rooster's chasing the peahen, so I got distracted in my <laughs> dialogue here. Um, they can look like just about anything. They have no breed standard. They are only 70, or they are 78% different genetically than any other chicken. What does that mean? Like, it means that when you compare their genetics, they're just that different. These guys are the original chicken. They were brought over. Well, guys, you gotta go around. Hey, Nick. There, how about that? Where's mom? There you go. Where's mom? Where's mom? There. There we go. So she's gonna take them out and she is going to, I gotta clean that water. She's gonna show them how to find food and scratch seed. That call she's doing right now is telling them that she has food for them. So we have seven chicks and they're just gonna free range, hey Freya, and they're gonna free range with their mom. You watch yourself pal, be good. There's a rooster in here. I don't need you. Mm. Hey! Don't take that crap from him. So she's teaching him how to scratch and she's teaching him how to find things in. It's pretty cool. She'll take him outside and they'll wander around and She'll take really good care of them, as long as Kama stays around.
But when she puffs out like that, like she did, and spreads her wings, and she'll stomp and she'll go after her. She went after the dog the other day, and the dog won't go anywhere near the chickens now. <laughs> You may come in, you will be, hey! Be respectful. Good boy, Good comment. Boy. Good boy. He just doesn't want to go back in that cage. You yeah. two, behave yourselves. All right. Baby chickies, baby horses, we love the babies. So we'll see how it goes. Look how big Fauna's gotten, guys. She's like huge. Or doesn't even look like a baby anymore. Hey, pretty girl. She's still super cute, though. Hi. Hi, baby girl. She still has those pretty little eyes. She's eating it this morning. She's gonna be fighting us for a spot at the table. So Fauna is how old now? She was born May third, so she's almost two months old. Almost two months old. She's getting huge. Penny, her milk is delicious. Christy has made butter, ice cream, ice cream, caramel sauce. Caramel sauce. What else have you made? Um, I made cottage cheese that didn't turn out so hot. Cottage <laughs> cheese that tasted like feta <laughs> cheese. I'm trying it again though. Yeah, trying it again. If at first you don't succeed. Um. Um. What else did I make? Yogurt. I make a lot of yogurt. Yep, yeah, yogurt. I have some, by the way, if you want some. I do. I need more milk too. Um, all kinds of good stuff. The milk is amazing. I can't even drink like regular milk anymore. It's just gross. To me, I was joking around when we went on our trip to North Dakota and I said, I'm going to have to start taking a cooler and bringing my own milk everywhere I go now. Because as it is, we take a lot of our own food when we go places. It's going to get so bad that I need to start taking my own milk too. I didn't clean that off for you, Brat. Well, she says, perhaps you did. Because I eaten it anyway. So... Our little Miss Fauna's getting big. All of our babies are growing up. It's the most beautiful calf in the world. <laughs> Stop it. You know that tickles. <clears throat> Dude! <laughs> She's helping. <laughs> That's actually what calves do. They'll lick all of the teats and their saliva has like some <laughs> stuff in it that keeps um <laughs> that keeps the uh keeps bacteria from getting in the teat and causing mastitis. So when she's done drinking, she'll actually go through and she'll lick all of the teats. And when I'm milking like this, she likes to help. <laughs> and she'll go through and she'll sometimes she'll try to lick the teat or I'll even offer it to her and I'll go milk something else a different quarter but she prefers to suck on my hand. <laughs> She's a brat. All stinker. But anyway. All right. So we're stripped and she's tight and let's get her milked out. Where's your update on little Miss Fauna? <laughs>
So guys, that's the video for today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We are super excited to welcome our new little filly to the farm. And Danny, I talked to her this morning. She's super excited. She can't wait to meet her. Um, this filly's gonna get lots of snuggles as soon as uh, Danny gets home and as soon as I can get my hands on her. I got to pet her a little bit. She's super soft. Um, but yeah, so as soon as we get a name picked out, we'll let you know what it's gonna be. And yeah, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.